ready to a um, quick uh, video on Reverie's, I'm sorry, uh, Zurb's foundation framework for uh, web design projects. So um, a foundation is a responsive layout framework, similar to uh, Bootstrap. And um, what it allows you to do is quickly manage web projects and um, develop websites that are both uh, responsive and useful. Now, by default, um, it's a very user-friendly, clean interface, uh, whites, blues, and blacks. Nothing spectacular, quick and easy. And um, in fact, I am using this on my uh, personal website right now. Now, Reverie, which is based off of Foundation 4, takes the framework and uh, uh, turns it into a WordPress theme, which in turn is what I am using on my personal blog. So when, so you can see that it changes with in response to the window size, which comes in handy with both uh, mobile and web um, environments. So there's some advantages to that. For instance, if I was to resize this window, even the video in embed will resize according to the um, the width of the window. So, how do they accomplish this? Well, they actually accomplish it with a uh, basic grid, 12 column grid system. So let's take a quick look at how this grid works. They break it down into uh, rows and columns, 12 columns. So as you can see right here, let's just focus on these top few lines here. You've got small 2, small 4, and small 6 versus the large 4. This is going to be a, uh, a three column row. If you go down to the bottom of the sample, you'll see there's 4, 4, and 4. Now if you size down to a smaller size, They've got it set up to uh, swap out the information. So it's um, two columns, four columns, and six columns. So the um, web page will react to the browser size. Now to further illustrate this feature, I've built out a uh, grid sample here with the left side, the middle side, and the right side. If I go back into this post and take a look at it, mistake. Go back into this post and look at it. You can see that I've got small 2, 4, and 6, as well as large 4, large 4, large 4. So this is built um, first for small screen devices and second for large screen devices. So when it sizes down to a small size, you got 2 columns, 4 columns, and 12 columns. Now the columns themselves will uh, resize to the browser settings. And um, uh, you can go infinitely smaller. You could even nest these together. And notice how it gets extremely small. At some point, uh, the width is fixed. That's how I have uh, Reverie set up on my blog, but you can make it infinitely wide if uh, you chose to do so. And that's pretty much how the uh, foundation for uh, grid works. Now you can nest the items together, as they illustrate here. You can offset the grid by having some um, blank grid elements in there. You could um, even center some of the uh, grid items together, which makes this really useful whether you're creating a, a corporate website, personal blog, or um, just about anything. Uh, they leave the um, these elements, um, it's very mathematical and planned out, and uh, you could just go in and style the fonts and uh, buttons the way you see fit. Anyway, my next video I plan to get a little bit more involved and cover um, navigation, pagination samples, such stuff like that. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys there.